Santa baby Slip a Rolex under the tree For me I've been an awful good guy Santa buddy So hurry down the chimney tonight Santa baby A 54 convertible to light blue I wait up for your dear Santa baby So hurry down the chimney tonight Think of all the fun I've missed And think of all the fellows that I haven't killed Next year I could be just as good If you check off my Christmas list Santa buddy, I want a yacht and really that's not a lot I've been an angel all year, Santa baby So hurry down the chimney tonight So home for Christmas at the Hilton Colombo with my celebrity guests Dushant and Stephanie. How's the food? Dim sum. Good, good, good. Absolutely. Absolutely. So thanks for the beautiful Christmas song there. Uh, what does Christmas mean to you, Stephanie? Christmas is time for family, uh, love, good food, and obviously presents. And Dushant, you? Family, um, turkey. Uh, yeah, lots of food. It's it's a very happy time, a joyful time, and a lot of work for me, honestly. Uh, I it's the peak of the December. season. Yes. Yeah, I barely see her. I do about thirty gigs uh, in December, but not this time. Okay. <laughs> sure, usually, yeah. yeah, usually it's like it's a season, it's a peak, it's a lot of joy, a sure. lot of uh, yeah. What were your childhood Christmases like? Going back many many years, the nostalgia of should I go? <laughs> well, my mom is a Christian, yes. my dad is a Buddhist, but we had always had like a huge Christmas because they celebrate. My mom's side, there's like a huge family, six siblings. And they make delicious food. Yeah, so they go crazy, they go crazy. So that's why I said food is a big part for me when it comes to Christmas. So what has been your best food item at Christmas time, apart from Christmas Oh boy, time? crabs to turkey, we, do, we have everything. So basically, it's a very fusion kind of okay. Christmas. It's not a very Western American Turkey, that kind of Sugar thing, but it has the you have the yellow rice oh, yes, and yes, the, yes, the cutlets, <laughs> like the cutlets, uh, the and the yes, absolutely. Okay. So that is very fusion Sri Lankan. Uh, so Stephanie, yeah. all this eating at Christmas time, you you never put on weight. Oh, are you like a Jima Holly? <laughs> I have put on so much weight, but thank you for saying I think that. You camouflage it very well. <laughs> I pray a lot, no? Okay. Say God, please. So where does all that food go? Yeah. <laughs> I can tell Yeah. No, I, 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 uh, I, I She's I also know. blessed, I think. You know, she has some yeah, people do yeah, not put on at all. The Mediterranean. No, I, the I jeans, put on, European but I guess my structure, the... you don't see it as much because I think I get bigger proportionally. And I don't <laughs> oh so you're just seeing it's it in really vital statistics. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to keep quiet at this point. Yeah. I'm not going to say nothing. Okay. So what did you write to Santa Claus when you were a child? Oh boy, it's all what about cricket bats and tennis balls and yeah, a lot of cricket stuff, a lot of sports stuff. I remember we would ask for army sets, oh, yes, um, skipping ropes and uh, bow and arrows, uh, those are the kind of stuff. So did he bring every single thing Most you of the time, for? yes, until we were too mischievous and we found who Santa was and we kind of blew it for ourselves. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Santish was the most clear. He was a cult. There may be kids watching you. Okay, oh, sorry. Uh, so, <laughs> Santa brings stuff. I actually Absolutely. saw Santa kissing mommy under the, under the, under the, tree. Under the Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Because he had just come back from Korea at that point and I remember he gave, Santa got me this beautiful Barbie Playhouse. Wow. It was huge. And there was this It was big or you were small? I was small. <laughs> <laughs> and there was this like little parrot that would sing and it was lovely. But the best Christmas gift I ever got was my grandma under the Christmas tree, Christmas morning with a cute bow on her head. 
Wow. Yeah, so she flew it. So now she's in Canada. Um, and uh, yeah, so that was... She was there place. waiting for you? Yeah, so they gave, went, Santa brought her. And uh, so she was, as we woke up in the morning, she was under the tree with a huge bow. Wow. Be like, hi! Obvious. Surprise! Yeah, it was the best gift ever. Um, you also spent Christmases overseas. Not every Christmas has been in Sri Lanka. Yeah. So what were those Christmases like? But she has a record. Last Christmas, <laughs> she had three Christmases. So basically, we have a whole fight at home at which place we are celebrating Christmas. So my family has this Christmas lunch. So now we have a Christmas dinner on the 24th night. Okay. So that's that's the, yeah that that's at Love our it. place yeah. So the whole family comes to our place. So that's the first Christmas celebration, and then the following day on, on Christmas Day we have a family lunch where my mom's side the Vijay Ratnas, you know most of them, <laughs> and then she flew to Canada and caught Christmas Day in Canada because it was she was going one I one day Christmas yeah back to back. So then she celebrated Christmas for the third time with her family in Canada. I mean, most of my family That's is there, three Christmases right? in one year. So <laughs> most of my family is there and for me Christmas is family. So we did our family like from his side. Mm. Then did our friends and family all together again here yeah, at I our place. <laughs> and then quickly flew <laughs> out to do on. Christmas like with my family there. It was amazing. So Christmas is also sharing and giving, let's watch that. Have the both of you, together as a couple and individually, made a difference in people's lives last year, the year before, this year? Last year was a beautiful year. Um, so we have this uh, tradition we started recently because it's only been a while that we got married, right? So we we did put, it before marriage Yeah, yeah, too. we did before too. Because we were living together. So, you can't call it a tradition, that's what I want to say. Like, a new tradition where we, keep a, we keep a Santa's mailbox outside our apartment. Okay. And uh, we let all the cleaners, children come and put their... Anyone. And even, even the kids, uh, even the kids of the apartment, letters. if they want, they come and... some and of the, yeah, some of the neighbours also send their children's letters. All handwritten, beautiful And uh, we kind of... Oh boy, beautiful a little gifts, you know, some... Some they say, I want a boat, a doll, or something like that. Oh, it's very simple. And they are very understanding also. They know where the real, <laughs> where the Santa Claus is not a very rich person. So um, Sometimes it's school books, school shoes. So every year it's what been happening more and more. The last time was like the biggest time. We oh, had about we have 15, 20 kids. Uh, all neighbours and um, mostly the 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 security, the, the, the security, security guards, guards, no, and the security guards okay, with their kids okay. and all. So we got yeah. them to come. Okay. And my brother was down. Okay. So that He's... Christmas we dressed up as Santa and the elf. So we had a onesie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're a bit okay. extra about it's Christmas. The same colors, the elf and the Santa. Yeah. yeah. So that was awesome. That and was then so they beautiful. Came like, and you then know, the, we the, gave the, them the, the, the gift. You feel oh, you saw the if I talk too much about it, I'll start crying. <laughs> it's so awesome. I can imagine. And uh, a few days before, she had a she has these um, foundations of uh, helping these ladies who have been sexually abused. So last year we went and. Um, gave some presents to the ladies in the prison. So a few sponsors came in. We had a lot of gifts and things like that. And it's something that they never expected because they said a lot of people come, but they never come back with presents. They just come for a visit and they see us, say they will come back. And, and we actually did it. And they did a full show And they show performed for us. for us. They sang my songs and, and I sang the back. Sang your songs. Yes, yes, they yeah. sang my song. They did the song. They did, they did a full choreographed dance for it. And then I sang Omri Lata to them and they went crazy. It was amazing, beautiful. So that was an then, awesome Christmas last time. And then this year, um, so we raised money with the, the Manasha Foundation, which I got support from. They were amazing. They're based in Australia. They lost a friend to asthma. So I had taken my dad to the hospital in the midst of all of this because he was not feeling so well. Um, and then we met a doctor there who said, I also work part time at the Lady Ridgeway Hospital. And we need a lot of help because right now they, they didn't have money to get a lung testing machine, a spirometer. I saw that, I saw that. So we raised about 1.6 mil in a month and so we wanted to give it to them as an early Christmas, Christmas gift. gift. So we got them 
fans, we got them the spirometer, we got them oxygen. When she says we, I'm not incredible because it is all her doing and her friends. Oh, I don't it's want always, to take credit for that. Weed. No, no, no. This but one, you are the be- you are no, the this, this one, she did it like hands on. Like, kudos to her. So you do you do all this expecting nothing, nothing in return. Honestly, we goodness get, comes back we, automatically. No, we get so much in return because when you see the happiness that we see, that is a happiness you can never, you, you can never buy with money. So we get so much from doing that. And I think it's almost addictive. You're like, I want so to do more so I can that would be the feel Christmas useful. Of Christmas, helping yeah. people, helping the poor. So on that note of charity and helping the less fortunate, we continue our meal at the Graves Kitchen Hilton Kalamba Host Hotel. Home for Christmas, continue. We meet the couple, chat to lots more stuff. So let us eat on Christmas night, the Christmas edition of Aperitif with Kumar and the Hilton Kalambo. Wow.